Okay, let's look at solving by the elimination method. Uh, we've done the graphing method and the substitution method. Um, the elimination method is section 9.3. Um, here's your note packet. Uh, for number five here is the start of 9.3. And it says this first one is an awesome candidate for uh, the addition method. So what we're going to do is we're going to, um, and I'll show you why it's an awesome candidate. I'm going to add these two linear equations together, kind of old school uh, column adding here. And what I notice is that the reason this is a good one for the elimination method is because the y values are opposites of each other and they're going to cancel out. So when I add this together, I get negative 8x equals 24 and then divide by negative 8. And I find out my x value is equal to negative 3. Okay. Then, don't want to stop there because remember we got to get an x and y value here. I'm going to go back into, uh, I'm going to go back into line 1 here. Okay. Um, and I'm going to put in my x value. So I have negative 10 times negative 3. That's the x value that I just found. Plus 2y equals 20. Here I get 30 plus 2y equals 20. Subtract the 30. I get 2y equals negative 10. And then divide by 2, I get y equals negative 5. Okay, so just kind of remember what this is, is that it is the coordinates of a point where these two lines, line one and line two, cross. Okay, so that's the solution. That's the elimination method. Now the second one here is not quite as nice. If I if I look ahead here, uh, neither the x value nor the y value is going to cancel out. But I can form a new equation that's um, equal to my first equation by by multiplication or division. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take I'm going to take line 1 here, um, and I'm going to take it times negative 1. So I'm going to multiply by negative 1. All right. So think about that. If I multiply by negative 1 here, I would get uh, 5x, and then multiply by negative 1, I get negative y. And then don't forget, I have to multiply this, uh, this right side by negative 1, and I get 12. So that's, that's kind of my new line one. Then what I'm going to do is I've created, so now when I add this new line one and line two together, I, something's going to cancel out. And this actually creates a kind of strange case because if you look, my X's cancel out, my Y's cancel out, and on this side, I have 36. And we've seen this case before uh, in a previous video that this is false. And I associate that with the word no. And so that's no solution. So if we have an odd case like this come up, uh, we want to think through uh, what that actually means. Okay. So that's a little bit with solving by the elimination method. They can get a little messier in making it so one of your um, one of your variables will cancel out. Um, but like I said, you're responsible to know all these different methods of solving. But most likely, once you've uh, become a master of using your uh, matrix button on your calculator, you'll probably migrate to using Ref. Okay, but do if you're going further in mathematics, you should be quite capable of all four of these solutions uh, for solving systems of linear equations. All right, thanks.